Hello, Gemini. This is Renee, and welcome back. Gemini, this is going to be a reading for the next 48 hours. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So if you have Gemini anywhere in your chart, this reading is for you. Messages for Gemini, next 48 hours, please. What do we have for Gemini, next 48 hours? get into this okay we have healing energy okay there's something that you're doing that's bringing more healing to you I'm gonna focus in a little bit more there we go okay at the bottom we have honesty and communication so I feel like there's something that you're healing from, but I feel like you you really want someone to be honest with you. You are yearning for that communication. You're yearning for something to be said, something to be worked out. We have it's time to release negativity. So what is going on, Gemini? At the bottom we have you're very close to achieving your goal. So there's going to be some kind of resolution to the situation that you're looking for. There, you know, the resolutions are coming. But I, I feel like it's going to become more clear in the next 48 hours. In the next 48 hours, there's going to be some kind of resolution. Okay, one more card for Gemini. <clears throat> Faith. Humanity and benevolence. Stay calm. Trust the good in yourself and others. See the light in the world. So, Gemini, forgive my voice. My voice is kind of going out now. So, <clears throat> it's saying to, to trust yourself. Trust the universe. Trust in spirit that things are going to work out for the greater good. Okay, let's get some tarot. Let's dive deeper into this situation. What do we have for Gemini the next 48 hours? Spirit, give me a message. What does Gemini need to know for their greater good? Next 48 hours, please. Okay, the Three of Pentacles. Yes, someone's coming in to help, and we have the Six of Cups. So, I feel like someone's offering you a gift of advice. Someone's offering you that love and support that you're yearning for. Uh, this may be someone maybe that you worked with before in the past that's coming back. Maybe that you haven't had any contact with. So that's pulling, putting you into that kind of healing mode. Like what is going on? Where is this person coming from? But I feel like with this Eight of Cups, I feel like you're kind of walking away from a situation. You may be releasing that negative energy that you felt from the situation. You may be putting it past you. Okay, with it's time to release negativity, we have the Seven of Pentacles <coughs> and the Magician. Wow, you're trying to create a new outcome. Look at this, we have the Kangman. Yeah, you're trying to create a new outcome. You're trying to protect your energy. You're trying to protect yourself from feelings of um, disappointment or being disregarded is what I'm getting. But I feel like you're working on creating. You're planting seeds to create this new beginning. To create some kind of 
magic in your life. You know, you're in this creating type of energy to where if you feel like if it's not working this way, well, I'm going to try this way. You know, you're kind of changing your perspective. You're changing your situation. You may be surrendering to the situation and finding a new path around it. You know, kind of taking a detour from what doesn't work to really experimenting with what does work. Okay, give me more messages for Gemini. More messages for Gemini, please. And the Ace of Wands. Beautiful. And the King of Pentacles. And we have the Five of Cups. Okay, so Gemini, this is what it is. I feel like, you know, you're you're moving into this different perspective. But you're taking action. You're making moves. You're not standing still. There's something that you need to really progress into. And I feel like it's finding your stability. It's finding your grounding. It's building your abundance. It's some kind of longevity that you're looking for. You're still kind of fearful that... You know, something is not attainable for you. But I feel like, you know, just turn around. There is something that is there. You may feel like not all of your ideas will work at the moment. But there is something that is sticking. Something is working. You know, we also have the moon at the bottom. So definitely some kind of... Secrets are being, being revealed. We have the Knight of Cups. So definitely, someone wants to give you some kind of offer, some kind of help in the situation. This may be someone communicating with you exactly how they feel. If you are open to love, this may be a new love coming in for you. Or this may be an opportunity to pursue something that you really have a passion for something that you really love to do maybe you're starting a business on a hobby that you've been doing for years and you you're now finding the confidence to really take initiative you know but i feel like if this isn't love this is something that you love to do this is something that you love to pursue okay let's get more clarity for this Gemini. See, tell me about this. Three of Pentacles, Six of Cups, Eight of Cups energy. Tell me about this. It's kind of, you know, I'm, it's kind of coming to me that there may be a situation that's kind of moving you from feeling at home to moving in a totally new direction. You may be leaving a comfort zone. Another message I'm getting is that you may be visiting home and really reluctant to leave. So you may be visiting some place that feels like home that you really don't want to leave. You're just comfortable in that spot. Okay, we have the moon card. So you yeah, have some something's kind of being revealed to you. Behind that moon is the sun. So something's revealed to bring you more contentment. You know, some kind of secret, some kind of mystery that may have been nagging at you. The moon is also a sign that you need to stay on your path. Don't veer off, you know. 
Yeah, we have the Six of Wands. Okay, so yeah, something's making you feel very comfortable. Something is really making you feel uplifted. Like you're in the spotlight. You know, and if, if you're taking a visit at home, you may feel like you're like the center of attention. And you really don't want that to end with this Ten of Swords energy. Um, so I, I feel like you're kind of hesitant to move out of that comfort zone to kind of go back to life, you know? I, I feel like it, if it's something that you're pursuing, you definitely have success, but you're kind of afraid that the success is going to end. Like someone's going to stop viewing you as very important, very a priority, you know? Um, interesting. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles, the Fool. The King of Pentacles. And the Three of Pentacles. Okay, so we have the Three of Pentacles again. So there's definitely some kind of team that you're working with. The, this is something that you're building. Something that you're kind of focused on building up. Maybe it's a business. Maybe it's some kind of situation that you're putting a lot of energy in but you feel like you know it's a new journey it's a new start it's new experiences that are very exciting and vital because we have the king of pentacles here i feel like it's it's something that you're looking to make into a long-term venture it's something that you want to be very stable very reliable um, if this is a person, the King of Pentacles is also very reliable, very loyal, very, you know, solid grounded. So I feel like this new journey is taking you into this new perspective, this new beginning of longevity, you know, something that you want to last. For a very long time. And I feel like you're putting a lot of energy into this. You may be collaborating. You may be working with other people. But I feel like you're like building. Okay. We have the Seven of Wands. The High Priestess. And the Eight of Pentacles. Definitely. Definitely. This is something that you're building. This is something that you have the need to protect. That you have the need to defend. You know? Um, I feel like this is you being very persistent in whatever this is that you're doing. You're taking the lead. You're making the initiative. But you're also kind of in the background wondering how things are going to work out wondering if you're trusting yourself enough to really complete the task you know with the eight of pentacles this is working very hard this is mastering some kind of situation but you're also enjoying the progress you know, I feel like you are setting your priorities. You're making vital decisions in your future. So it's very beautiful energy. We're going to dive a little bit deeper. We're going to choose another deck and go a little deeper. Okay, Spirit, tell me more for Gemini. Tell me more for Gemini. What is this moon, six of wands, ten of swords? the king of cups some kind of emotion look at this the six of wands on the six of wands success victory you are being recognized this is double confirmation that you know I, I, I feel like with this king of wands energy you like got butterflies flowing because your emotions are kind of bottled up the King of Cups, he knows how to hide his emotion. He knows how to control how he's feeling. But I feel like you are 
holding in your emotion to the success, to this excitement, so much to where you you have like butterflies <laughs> in in your stomach, like you know, with emotion, just building. Okay. Okay, and on top of the Ten of Swords, we have the Three of Swords. But look at this Three of Swords. The Three of Swords. The Swords are not penetrating the heart. The heart is healing. The Swords have fallen off. So I feel like, you know, this fear of you wanting things not to end is kind of dissipating. You're feeling a little bit better about the situation. You're healing because you, you see the success before you. You see what's coming. You're totally in the spotlight. People are re recognizing exactly what you're doing. They're valuing something that you're doing. And kind of giving you the reward. The recognition that you desire. So we have double confirmation with that two six of wands that you have success. Something is being successful in your life. You have this huge win. You know, you have victory. Okay, Spirit, tell me more about this fool, the King of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles. We have the Three of Wands, the Magician. And we have the temperance. Wow. Okay. So I definitely feel like you're like looking at growth in your life. You're growing. You're expanding. You're watching those ships come in. You know, creating this new beginning for the future. With the Magician card, I feel like you have the ability to create whatever reality you're looking for. You have the ability to bring whatever you're thinking down to earth and create that. You have all of the resources. You have all the ability. So Spirit is letting you know, you know, dream big. Plan out your future. Dream big and then go for that success. You're going to gain that achievement. With the temperance card, the temperance is all about having that self-control. Having the ability to be patient on a situation. So I, I feel like Spirit is letting you know, you know, it, it's coming into fruition. Just be patient. Be balanced. And just wait for your manifestation to come forth. Because, you know, you don't have to sit still to be patient. You know, you can still do the work. You can still make the progress, but be patient of the outcome. Okay, does that make any sense, Gemini? Okay, with the Seven of Wands, High Priestess, and Eight of Pentacles, tell me more. Tell me more, Spirit. Okay, we have the Eight of Cups. We have the Seven of Cups. Wow. And we have the Tower. Now, right after the tower, we have the emperor. So, I feel like something... I, I feel like if there are so many opportunities, so many choices that you need to make, you need to really sift through those choices, really make good decisions. Because you don't want to accept every opportunity that comes your way. The point is to choose the best opportunity. Kind of throwing something against the wall and seeing if it sticks, you know. Um, and I feel like that's what Spirit is telling you. Experiment. If, if one idea doesn't work, move to the next. Move to the next idea. Because something is going to stick. Something is going to bring about big change. And whatever doesn't work will just crumble. But it will do so to make way for that bigger, better opportunity. So, yeah, take advantage of 
of what lies ahead, Gemini. Because, you know, if one idea doesn't work, another idea is right behind it, you know. We have the Emperor, Aries Energy. You know, this is strength. This is power. This is being fully capable of manifesting your desires. Manifesting whatever you want because you're taking complete control over your life over whatever this is that you're pursuing so you have that ability even though you have a tower this is nothing to be concerned about because i feel like you know if one of these opportunities one of these options doesn't work it's going to fall because it was meant to fall but the emperor is right there to take control look at this right behind the emperor we have the king of pinnacles Stability, feeling grounded, longevity, abundance, building long-term wealth, you know? So I, I feel like there's nothing to worry about at all about this tower. This tower is just meant to happen if one of these options, if one of these ideas isn't meant to come into fruition, move to the next big idea. Because you can do it, Gemini. You have the power. Okay. Let's get some more cards for Gemini. We're going to go ahead and get some more Oracle cards for Gemini. Sun, Moon, and Rising. Harmony and Resolution. So something is being resolved. Something is going to make you very happy in this situation. You know, we have cut the cords. So what doesn't work, let it let it go. Release it. Release that energy back into the universe. You know, it may be it may work later on down the line. If it doesn't work today, it may work tomorrow, you know? That kind of energy. And of course, 50 million cards wanted to jump out. Okay, that's too many. We're not gonna take those. Okay, more messages for Gemini. More messages for Gemini. Your commitment is being tested. Okay, yeah, this may be a test. This may be a test. But whatever this is that's in your life, you know, take it how it resonates. This could be love. This could be career. This could be, you know, anything in your life. But take it how it resonates. Balance spirituality and practicality. Yeah, so even if it doesn't work, even if something doesn't go as planned, maintain your balance. Maintain your position, Gemini. You are strong. You have the emperor energy. You have the ability to take control. Okay? One more card for Gemini. One more card for Gemini. What does Gemini need to hear? Oh, wow. Two of them wanted to come out. Okay, so we have Voice of Truth. Stand strong. Focus on your purpose. Release the fear of persecution and speak your truth. So it's time to release fear and move past you know, we also have divine order. Do what you feel is right. An important lesson is unfolding. Beautiful. <clears throat> okay. At the bottom, we have life force. Embrace your driving passion. Express your driving passion. Sensual and sexual powers are increasing. Okay, so, okay, I'm going to go ahead and leave you with that, Gemini. So, if this reading resonates, please like, subscribe, hit the bell, share, comment below. Okay, and uh, until your next reading, oh, also make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more messages. Your sun, moon, rising, or Venus. And until the next reading, 
many blessings, love and light.